Hello and welcome to this Microsoft Access database video tutorial. In Windows Media Player, if you maximize it to its full size, you'll be able to see the video more clearly. Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to link um, from Access to a Microsoft Excel spreadsheet. Um, you're also able to update the data within Access itself and the changes will be reflected back in your spreadsheet. This is a very powerful feature of Access because it means that you can create forms based around your spreadsheet and manipulate the data within that and also create queries around your Excel spreadsheet data. So let's get started. If we go to the, the main database window we want to click on tables um, then we want to right click and select link tables. We can also do this from the file menu by going up to file get external data link tables okay so let's just link the tables and the spreadsheet I'm going to select is here address.xls you might also have to select the file type here um, just to make sure that you, you're actually selecting an Excel spreadsheet so here we have Microsoft Excel.xls extension click the link button and our access will ask us um, which worksheet um, our data is coming from and also any ranges that uh, we have established in the worksheet so in this one I'm just going to select sheet 1 and it's giving us some sample data from that worksheet here so you can just see this so click the next button if you're happy with that and now access is going to ask us if we want our first column in our table to be um, to have the headings in the uh, Excel spreadsheet so I'm just going to select this for now and select yes okay so, so when you're done click on the next button and now it's asking us to um, give our table a name so I'll take the default and we'll call it sheet 1 and click finish it gives us a little message saying that it's it's finished linking sheet one to the Excel spreadsheet. Click OK. And in our tables, um, we can see that uh, we have an Excel symbol, and that's uh, our spreadsheet uh, within Access. So if we double click it, we'll find that the data now looks like a table. And there we have it. There's our Excel spreadsheet data. So if we load up the spreadsheet, okay, this field here in our Excel spreadsheet, the Alamo, if we go back to Access, we were to type in something here. I've typed in this is a test within Access. We load up our spreadsheet for that same record. And here we have it, the Alamo, this is a test. So, as you can see, whatever we typed in Access is reflected back in Excel. Okay, so now if we close our table in Access, I don't want to save any layout changes. We could also do a query, new query, design, and select Sheet 1, which is our Excel table. And we could just manipulate the data as we would um, with any other kind of access query that we do. Here's our query. Now supposing we wanted to actually keep all this Excel spreadsheet data within Access and we didn't want to link to the spreadsheet at all. We just wanted to pull all the data in. Well we can do that quite easily by um, creating a new query. Uh, let's go to new design we'll take sheet one okay we want to change the query type now and we're going to create a make table query we want it in the current database so we'll call it sheet one Of 
call it sheet one make table data. Click OK. I run this query. Oh, we've got to have some fields in it, of course. I'm going to put all the fields in. Now run it. Access is saying it's going to paste 12 rows into the table. And that's it, it's done. So now if we close this, go back to tables, and there's our query. That's created a new table called Sheet 1 Make Table Data. Now this table, it's not linked to Excel in any way. All we've done here is brought in the Excel data into an access table. So we can just manipulate it how we like. And if we change anything in here, it, it won't change anything in the Excel spreadsheet because it's not connected to it at all. It's just purely from our Make Table query. If we go back to our spreadsheet here. And of course anything we change in here in the linked link table will be reflected back in Access. So as you can see, linking to an Excel spreadsheet within Access is a very powerful feature. That's the end of this video. I look forward to showing you the next one.